Hello. I just wanted to start this video with a quick little apology. I've been filming this living room makeover for weeks and a corrupted memory card meant that I lost a load of footage and instead of not posting the video at all, I have managed to create the video using the footage that I had left. It's not the video that I'd hoped for, there are some bits missing from it, but I really hope that you enjoy the video nonetheless and you enjoy seeing my finished made over living room. So yeah, if you still want to watch it, then keep watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel and today's video is a living room makeover. So there's a few things I've wanted to do in my living room for a little while just to give it a bit of a, a zhuzh. I never really did anything in here, I just kind of put some stuff in here, I got some furniture. I did obviously, you guys remember I did do something to the fireplace but apart from that I've never put any colour in here, I've not painted any walls and I really really wanted to. I really fancied a feature wall and making some other changes and I thought that I would film it and show you guys. So it's not going to be a huge huge makeover, it's just going to be a few bits and bobs which will hopefully freshen up the room and also give the room a bit of personality. So one of the things I really wanted to do is paint a feature wall behind my armchair and I already have chosen the paint. Now I found the most beautiful range of paint by Rust-Oleum. It's all chalky, it's their chalky wall paint and it was gifted so it'll be marked in the description box as gifted. Um, and they sent me a few testers. I knew I wanted something kind of beigey, I wanted to try and steer the living room away from grey. I had a grey sofa and there was grey curtains here when I moved in. I really fancy trying to warm the space up and I've been slowly bringing that in. So the rug I bought, which you guys will have seen I think in one of my previous videos, has got pink and gold and beige in it. Uh, and that's the kind of colour that I wanted on my wall. So they sent me loads of samples and the great thing about them is there is enough in the little sachet to paint on an A4 piece of paper and then you can stick that bit of paper on your wall and that's exactly what I did. So here is a selection of the paint colours that I painted onto the A4 paper. As I said, I had these up on my wall for a while. I did actually put them on Instagram and a few of you helped me choose. Uh, obviously a nice sort of palette of beige and things. On camera they all look very very similar but in real life they're very very different but they're all gorgeous and it was hard to choose but in the end I went for Oyster which was the perfect um, sort of beige but it's got some warmth in it but it's also not too warm so it'll still go with all the grey elements in my living room. So I chose Oyster and they kindly gifted me a big tin of it so I could paint the wall. The wall's not that big, I'm probably not going to need a whole tin. So that's going to go on a feature wall behind my armchair. There's a few things already in that corner which I already like. I have a lamp which is really, really nice. I want to bring in hints of gold and pink and I already have a couple of bits in this corner which sort of fit in with that. And I also rescued a unit. This unit came from a friend of mine's skip. They were getting rid of it, it's like a little cupboard. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a makeover on it. I think I'm gonna send it black to match my TV unit, uh, which I've done in black and rattan. Anyway, I'm gonna show you around the room and show you a bit about um, what I'm gonna change and talk you through my plans, and then we'll get going with it all. So I hope you enjoy this video, and yeah, let's get cracking. Yeah, I love the pink and I love the gold, and I also really, really like this black and white so that's going to stay on here. I really like these bunny tails and sort of, maybe it's not this corn, I might take the corn out, but I think this will look really nice against this beigey wall that I'm going to do. So yeah, that's definitely going to be one of my first little makeovers. So yeah, coloured wall, black unit, then this print here, which I've had for ages, which is of a leopard, but it has actually got, it's a canvas, but it has actually got it's quite hard to see gold foil on it, so it's a little bit, not sparkly, but glimmery. I'm going to build a black frame around that. That's going to go up above my armchair with two other prints next to it in black square frames. So I need to find some frames for them. So when I paint this black today, I'm going to paint the wooden trim for that canvas as well. So that's going to be a little DIY too. Once I painted the wall, I've had this gold magazine rack for ages and it does just sit here and I did get permission a long time ago to mount this further up the wall. Once I've painted this wall, I am going to repaint this um, white because it is quite scratched. I'm going to repaint all the white around it and then I'm going to decide about this magazine rack. I do quite like it, it's quite handy when you sat here on the armchair 
I quite often put my laptop in it when I finish working. So yeah, so it may go up on the wall that. Then over here, I think I'm going to use the same paint for the feature wall over there and actually paint this internal bit of the fireplace just to create a little bit of um, contrast, make it a bit more interesting. I was gonna tile it, but I think with my rug being quite busy, I just think it's quite nice plain and you've got all this detail here uh, but I think it'd be nice to have a contrast of colour and then I'm going to um, get some pillar candles I think and sit them in the centre. Over here I've had permission to paint these shelves white and also these shelves are just kind of higgledy piggledy I've never really styled them so there's some stuff like my vision board that's going to go some stuff that's going to move around and yeah they're going to go white uh, so I think that will just make that a lot more simple and more clean. And then obviously my bits and bobs on there will stand out a lot more. So there'll be a bit of shelf styling involved in this too. And uh, lastly is the curtain pole, which is quite crappy really, but it does fit the space. I've been given permission to paint it white and I think that will just make it a little bit less offensive. And I have bought some new curtains, which were a sort of oystery beige colour which don't extend as far round, which means they won't fill up and dominate this space as much. I don't like the fact that they go and they almost touch the shelf. I'm not a big fan of that. So I think once the pole's white, you won't notice that it goes so far into the corner and my curtains will probably stop about here at the edge of the window. So yeah, so not a huge amount of stuff. Hello. One day, probably not for this video, I'm thinking of building a little dog bed for Gus that sort of sits here in front of the window. Um, something black, I think, to tie in with all of my black elements. But for now, that's not a job. However, there is another thing that I haven't shown you, which is this poof. So I already have a big pink um, footstool that goes with my armchair but when um, like my parents come and stay or somebody else stays I, I like for people who sit on the sofa to have somewhere to put their feet as well so this is a little DIY that I've already done it's going to be on my Instagram and my reels this was a little Facebook marketplace bargain I think it was 10 quid it was a sort of green chenille before and now I've done it in that same berry fabric that I did the chair upstairs so it's just made it a lot more modern it's got black oh all the muck on my rug it's got black little feet that I've painted and they were just wood so that ties in with all the black elements and yeah it's just really simple modern um so that's probably one of the first things I've done for the makeover really but yeah not a huge amount just lots of little touches and a little bit of a rejig I think possibly of of some shelves and things like that and dressing my fireplace different and the only other thing is when I've got the paint out to paint that unit black I have actually now bought the friendship finishing coat and I think I'm going to put some finishing coat on my tv unit uh, because it's it gets scratched quite easily um, and the finishing coat just makes it a little bit more hard wearing so I'll be doing that while I've got the paintbrush out so that's the plan so I think first job for today is to empty this unit one of the reasons I love this is because of all these little drawers for bits and bobs I like to sit here in the armchair and I like to be able to just grab a pen or my nail glue or a nail file or scissors or headphones and they're literally all in these little drawers So I had a rethink about the drawers in the little unit. I found these amazing wallpapers from a few different places. So this is Wilco. These are just free samples because you can rip a bit off and um, take it away. And I started off by ripping off some of this Wilco one and I really, really liked it. It's like a palm leaf pattern, a green, but it's got a kind of dusky pink background. And then I spotted these in B&Q. And um, this one is slightly textured and it's got a palm, pink palm leaf design on. And this is a terrazzo um, design. And I thought, how cool would it be if I lined the inside of the drawers of that unit and did them in all of these different wallpapers, just from little samples that I'd collected. But actually, 
I loved this palm one so much that I actually bought myself a whole roll of it. It was reduced down to six pounds and um, I really like it. I'll show you in a minute what I did with it and I think when I uh, do another unit which I plan to do for my dining room I would actually like to use more of this so that's why I bought a roll just to make sure because if it's on sale it could disappear. So I'm going to show you what I've done. I've finished painting the unit and the handles and everything and I've actually done all the drawers and this is what it looks like now. Okay, so here are the drawers. Right, I'm not gonna lie, this was a fairly time consuming job, but they look absolutely beautiful. So, I've painted um, the outside and the top. These were the original handles, which I've actually sprayed gold. Uh, and then I've lined them all with wallpaper. I cut each piece um, to fit and then made slits and bent it into the cracks, cut off any excess. I actually glued it all in with wallpaper paste. I used wallpaper paste to put the wallpaper into the drawers and I've kind of mix and match the pattern and when you see it in the unit, you'll see that when you open them, it's kind of, there's no two patterns next to each other. And then the rest of the unit, I actually used the palm leaf wallpaper on the back of the unit so that I painted the whole unit in black all the sides and I used the same black as my TV unit there which is Blackjack by Friendship um, and I also used the finishing coat the Friendship finishing coat this time as well so uh, painted all inside filled in any of the holes and whatnot painted it all black and then put some of the palm leaf wallpaper in the back then down here at the bottom, I've put on a brand new handle. So this is the same handle as my TV units have. I had one left. And inside, I have lined the back of there uh, with the wallpaper as well. That's a little removable shelf. And then I took out the metal mesh from the door and put some of this... Um, Rattan in. Now I don't know if you remember from me talking about my TV unit but this is actually an old blind and um, I got it from uh, the charity shop. It was a pound and I used two big sections of it to do my TV cabinet and I've used one section, little section, to do this little unit so it all matches. So that's just in there. It's just hot glued in from behind so I've not used beading like I did on my TV unit and then yeah all the drawers just slot in and there you go that's what the drawers all look like when they're in so yeah it took me a little bit longer than I planned but I think it looks so so pretty um, and I like to store all my bits and bobs in these drawers um, so it's quite it's quite nice to open them up and them all be a slightly different design um, excuse the red mark on my face. I've literally just been leaning on my hand in the kitchen while I looked at my phone. <laughs> now I've got a big red mark on my face. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I've got done. Okay, so here is where I am up to. So I have painted the wall. Now, because I painted the wall, it then turned out how um, mucky my paintwork was. So I ended up actually doing quite a big repaint job. So I've repainted this whole wall here in white. I've redone this bit here in white. Then I've obviously painted my feature wall in my Rust-Oleum um, matte paint in the shade Oyster. That's had... I did three coats, but I would say it's two and a half coats. I had really, really good coverage. The only reason I did the third was because I have actually already put up the fixings for my pictures and once I faffed around with them I made a couple of scuffs and so I just did another little coat just to cover up any scuffs. But I also repainted all the paintwork, the woodwork on the door frame and the door and I also repainted all of my skirting as well so that it all looks nice and fresh. I've also put up the fixings for the little um, gold magazine rack as well and I've put the drawer unit that I've already showed you back in situ so I blooming love this colour. I actually want to paint more rooms in my house this colour. I just think it looks so nice with the white and it's not that dramatic a feature wall but it's just enough just to make this little corner feel like it's got some personality. 
So um, I've put the chair back in. I need to um, put the magazine rack on, hang the pictures, which are all done and um, put bits and bobs back into the little unit and put my cushions and everything on. So I'm going to do that now and then I need to tackle the other side of the room really. Hello, so I'm back. I haven't been filming for a few days because I've had a bit of a nightmare. I'm going to show you my progress and where we're up to. We're on the home straight now, guys. Home straight. But I have had yeah, a few nightmarish days and I shall explain why. So one of the jobs I did was to take the curtain pole down. I wanted to paint the curtain pole white and to hang some new curtains. And what should have been a really, really easy job turned out to be an absolute nightmare. So. When I came to try, it's a bay window pole, so it's bent to go in the bay window. And when I came to try and split it and get the curtains off, all of the fixings started to come out the ceiling. Now, I always knew that they'd been put in a little bit shoddily. Um, and there, was, there seemed to be a lot of sealant and maybe no more nails and other stuff. And basically they had, they'd been put in really badly and essentially sort of slightly glued in there. So I decided to uh, pull the ones out that were the worst and I've actually bought brand new fixings, drilled new holes, fillered with really heavy duty filler which you can then drill and screw into and I've now used these very, very heavy duty, um, cause it's actually plasterboard up there. So I've bought these plasterboard fixings which are like a metal arm that expands behind and really holds them and it also means that you can unscrew them like this so they're loose which means it's easier to detach the pole. So uh, I'm ready to hang the pole back up and hang the curtains up. I need to adjust the curtains. I'm also ready to put back up the shelves. The shelves have been painted white and they're all dry now so I'm ready to put them up. Here they are. They took a lot of coats um, with a roller and then they've had a coat of a white finishing wax on top as well just to protect them um, so I'm gonna hang them today get them back up so I'll show you how the leopard print print worked it's come out really really well I'm really pleased with it so it's got that wooden frame around it that I was making which I've painted black with a matte black paint and then next to that I've got the two frames from H&M can't remember if I showed you these I think I did Two frames from H&M. In the top, we've got a gold foil Paris print. Um, so the gold foil matches the gold foil in the leopard. And then this beautiful print. So this is actually by an artist, a digital artist who is quite uh, close to me here in Essex. And her name is Anna. She has a little shop. I'm gonna link her shop in the description box because I just think her prints and her products. She makes these amazing fabric headbands as well. All her stuff is really cool, pastel-y. I bought one of her prints ages ago from an event and it's a print of Miami and it was this print but the outline was actually navy blue and I approached her, we follow each other on Instagram and I asked her whether she would be willing to re-digitise it uh, with black as the outline instead and she has, God bless her heart and she's done it a uh, custom size for me so it fits in this frame perfectly I've obviously paid her for it it's not gifted but she has helped me out by changing the color so now I love this pink I feel like this peachy pink goes really well with this Miami is one of my favorite places in the world I went there and it just I loved it and also Paris is one of my favorite places so that's my little gallery wall that I've got going on there please please do check out Anna's stuff honestly I just think she's so talented bless her um so that's um all done there I have also bought some new bits which I will show you once I've put these shelves back in and I have been making over a couple of things with paint so I'll show you that as well but we're pretty much there shelves up um, curtains I need to adjust and hang them and then put all my lovely knickknacks 
on the shelves, push the TV back in, have a good clean of the floor and put the rug back down and a hoover and everything and then I'll be able to give you the room tour. Okay, so here are a few things to show you that I've either bought or done. So the first thing I did was I've actually sprayed this frame that I already had. Um, it was, I think it was silver. Yeah, it was silver. It's just a nice cheap IKEA frame to put this artwork of Eddie and Gus in. Then a couple of things that I bought. I've bought this lovely um, oystery kind of colour throw uh, for £4. This is much more in keeping with my... Um, colour scheme at the moment I've got a grey one on my armchair I like to snuggle under a blanket when I watch TV so I'm actually going to go back this is Primark I'm actually going to go back and get another one um, to put in Gus's bed um, so that even Gus's bed matches um, the room then what else have we got here I've bought some pillar candles from Dunelm these are to go in the fireplace um, just to make a little bit of a feature in there so I need to just unwrap them then I got this vase from Wilco. So I've actually already started this, so you can sort of see it was in the sale for a fiver and it was actually this purple glass, but I just loved the shape of it and this sort of ribbed texture. So I've been painting it with my favourite Sophie James um, decor paint, which has got a kind of built-in wax. You can paint anything with this stuff. This is the colour Cornish Cream. And I've done two coats on the bottom and now I've got to do another coat on the top and into the neck. And I'm actually going to put my pampas grass in that. And then this gorgeous vase that I got ages ago at a boot sale. I love the shape of this. I'm going to paint this also with the Sophie James Cornish cream paint. And I'm actually going to draw a little um, face design on it, I think. I might make this into a little reel. So if I do, I shall link the reel in the description box. Then I also got a new lamp. So I got rid of my ostrich lamp. I actually sold it on, well, I actually sold it on Instagram. A follower of mine asked if they could buy it. So I didn't even manage to put it on Facebook Marketplace. And in a charity shop, I found this lamp base for five quid. I really liked the bobble shape. And then I found this natural effect, uh, like a kind of hessian -y lampshade. So I think I'm just going to paint the base white. But what I want to do is put the curtains up, put all my knickknacks on the shelf, put my side table back next to my TV unit, sit this on it with the other stuff and have a little look and see what colour the base might look nicest as. Several options, one is black, the other is gold. I could also do a kind of stone effect on this or white. At the moment it's sort of a grubby be off white so that so I'm quite pleased with that little find and then lastly these are a bit bunched up but these are my new curtains so these are Ikea curtains super cheap 29 pound I actually had these in my old house not the last one the one before that um, and I just knew I really really liked them so I bought them again these are going to be a little less full than the curtains that were there they're not going to wrap around as far so hopefully That'll mean they won't dominate the window as much, but I do need to chop these down. So I'm not going to use a sewing machine. I am just going to use that um, iron hemming tape. So that's one of my jobs for today as well. And then to hang these. And then when I've painted all my decor items up, I'm going to collect them all together in one place and then decide what's going to go on the shelves. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to have a bit of a faff with my pampas grass. Some of it was looking a little bit um, tired. I finished painting this um, vase, so that's going to have some in it down here. And then I actually have some up in my spare room, which sits in this vase. So this pampas is a mixture of stuff that I've bought and stuff that I have foraged. So I found a really big um, bush of it on my way out to um, sometimes where I go to B&M and it was on public ground and it was, I mean, it was absolutely huge. So I went and snipped a few bits off it and I hung it up, upside down to dry. So this at the back is all my new forage stuff, but it all needs spraying with hairspray and fluffing up and chopping down to the right size. So that's my job now.
So I've collected together a few things that are going to go on these shelves. I want them to be a lot more minimal. So I'm just going to have a play around and see what I like and what's going to go where. the living room is all finished so I am now going to take you on a tour. Okay so starting over here as you remember I've got the beautiful feature wall, I've got my um, snug um, cuddler armchair here in the corner in this lovely pink colour. I did put the uh, magazine rack up on the wall, I've got my artwork on the wall, I've got my little unit here with all the little drawers inside and on here I have got my little illustration of Eddie and Gus and all I did was um, swap the frame and sprayed this frame gold just to blend in more with all of my gold accents. I've got my gold little lamp there, my little vase with my um, bunny tails and dried grass in there which I just think looks really really nice against the feature wall so I'm really really happy with this corner I love how the leopard the gold bits on the leopard catch the light can you see I just think it looks great um, yeah my little magazine rack is over in the corner my new little oystery fleece for if I want to cuddle up on the armchair is there and I've also used the bottom magazine rack to run a little extension cable round so I've always got plug sockets and things so I don't have to keep moving the chair to get down the back. So that's quite a handy little solution. So yeah, super, super pleased with that little corner and that colour is just to die for. I absolutely love it and I think I'm going to do uh, a bit of a feature wall with the same colour in my bedroom, I think, um, but I might only do half the wall. Uh, so then, on the other side of the room. So here's how that vase turned out that I painted with all of my pampas grass in it. I just think it looks way better. I love the texture on it. The design on it is so, so pretty. Uh, and this paint I used is just brilliant for stuff like that because it's got wax built in, which means that you can wipe it, you can keep it clean. Not much else changed over here, really. I've got this um, knitted throw, which I think I showed you in the original tour, which just brings the, a little bit of that oystery beige colour into my grey sofa. I've got my oystery cushions from uh, Ikea on the sofa, along with pinks. Nothing much changed over here, but I do like this little, this was a little DIY I did, it's over on my Instagram. And again, it's just a little bit of rattan and black and it just ties everything together. Over here at the fireplace. So, I did paint this around and I think it has just made the world of difference. So it's the same colour that is on the feature wall. Um, and it's just made that stand out a lot more and then I've put those pillar candles that I showed you just sat in the centre. They're not for lighting, I probably wouldn't light them, they're literally just there to sort of give interest to the space. And on the top I've just got some, this is a little candle holder from B&M. This was a little Facebook find that was gold and I painted it this sort of off-white colour. I've had these candlesticks for ages, but these gorgeous candles in this beautiful pink colour are actually from Sainsbury's. So, down on the floor, I've got my rug, which again has all of the same colours in pink, gold, that kind of beigey colour. Over to my TV unit, which obviously ties in with the unit over by my armchair. And then, oh my god, I'm so pleased that I painted these shelves white. I painted them with an undercoat, two coats of undercoat, and then a basic white quick dry satin. I think it was B&Q's own, and they took a lot of coats um, to get them nice. And obviously they were black, it's a lot to cover up. So it was a long job, but it was worth it. And I also put on top of them a coat of Rust Oleum's White Wax. And what that means is it just makes it a little bit more hard wearing if you're putting things on here. But yeah, I've got a few little knickknacks dotted on here. 
So I've got um, my fossil which I've put inside this box, beautiful crystal which I bought a load of them from a charity shop, I just love rocks and crystals. Up the top I've got my Lara Dupe face vase which is beautiful and heavyweight with this fake um, eucalyptus from Ikea in it. Over here I've got a little picture frame with Gus in it and I've had the picture frame for ages. The Half the Virgin Mary, there is a very long story about that, but the short story is that it is a prop from a show that I did when I worked at the theatre. It's just a keepsake. And then I've got a little print here, another fossil from my big collection of fossils. And then this vase, which I think I showed you earlier on and said that I was going to paint it. I made a little reel of this over on my Instagram, so I'll link that if you want to go and watch how I made that little vase. But again, just ties it all in. It's made everything a bit more... Um, less clashing. There was a lot of stuff on there, a lot of different colours, and it's now just a little bit more chilled out. Down the bottom behind there I have got a little cactus and a couple of books but you don't really see them because of the TV. So here is my lamp that I got from the charity shop. In the end I didn't actually change it that much so I found a new lampshade um, from the range. It was actually on another lamp with a different base but it was so cheap that I just used the lampshade. I think it cost me about £6 in the sale. And the lampshade is this lovely kind of uh, off-white, um, well, quite beige actually, linen-y fabric. And all I did with the lamp itself was just clean it and I've painted it with the same kind of paint that I painted both my vases. It's the Sophie Decor paint that's got wax built into it. A couple of coats of this white and it just, it's made it look so much better. It looks much more expensive um, and... Yeah, I just think a lot more minimal here. And as much as I loved my feather lamp that was there, this is much better, it's much smaller. A few of the things dotted on here, I've had this vase for ages. This was a H&M vase. It used to be up in my spare room and I've brought it down here because it just fits in with my whole gold and shell vibe that I've got going on. This is one of my favorite fossils ever that I bought in a little glass display box and a little candle and my little marble nest of tables. Down here we've got Gus in his bed, as always. I did buy a new bed for him off Facebook Marketplace, which I'm going to do a bit of an upcycle job on, but I just didn't manage to finish that before this video, so I might uh, do that in a separate video. Up on my window ledge I've got my pink glass, which was there before, um, with my candlesticks. Again, these were my grandma's um, and um, this vase was from Home Bargain, so I've not changed anything there, but I have changed the curtains. So the curtains are the beige ones that I showed you. I have altered them. I'm not going to lie. It's not the best job that I've done, and I'm not 100% happy with them. They're not hanging very well, but I do love the colour. I also love the price. They were $29.99, which is just a bargain for curtains. Um, so for now I'm totally happy with them and I'm also really really happy that I went through the hassle of repainting this curtain pole even though it was a nightmare because it's just made a hell of a difference. So yeah that's it, that's my little mini makeover. My favourite corner has to be this little corner, I'm so happy um, that my little TV nook, this is where I sit and watch TV of an evening has had its own little mini makeover. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed seeing this little transformation of my living room. I'm actually gonna be doing my bedroom next, I think, a little mini makeover in there as well. So give the video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and please do subscribe for more fabulous makeover videos and I will see you again next time.